All right, guys. Today we're going to be checking our main bearing clearances. Every fastener associated with torquing down the bed plate has been chased and they thread in and out perfectly smooth. All right. Um, so today, first of all, we're going to be cleaning the flange surface where the bed plate meets the uh, block and then we're also going to be cleaning the saddles for the bearings and making sure they're perfectly dry you don't want any oil beneath the bearing that can uh, cause a tighter clearance when you go to measure them and we're also going to make sure the bearing surfaces themselves are also perfectly dry so let's get started All right, from here we're gonna start using denatured alcohol and these coffee filters to wipe everything bone dry because you don't want any WD-40 or oil, which I haven't used any oil, but in case you were using it, you don't want any on the bed plate surface because it interferes with the 
bed plate sealer and it also can add clearance so we'll just start wiping it down here All right guys, I coated the bed plate with the uh, sealant. I couldn't find the Mopar gasket maker or uh, anaerobic sealant. It's a green color, but um, I got some at Napa Auto Parts and it's been proven to work very well. As long as it seals the block from oil as well as providing a very, very thin crush thickness. So I already sprayed off the block and the bed plate, so we're ready to put this on. All right, go ahead and set the bed plate on. So the A853 engine has a cast steel crankshaft, which means it's not the most solid piece of steel when you raise the rev limiter above 7,000 RPMs. And what happens, above 500 horsepower, there have been reports of bed plates cracking on the lower uh, main bearing girdles. To go combat this, they make these billet steel crank straps, which the bed plates require to be machined in order to provide a flush fitment on the bed plate. Now you can buy direct fit versions, but I consider them kind of like the half-assed version of it and I went with the machine version and this will eliminate any possible failures so I'll just clean the bottoms of them slide them on and they're numbered so I put them 
exactly where they were when they line honed the block. You want to pay close attention. I already blew off the surface with a air gun and I, blew, I just wiped off the bottoms of the straps. You can see that's a very solid piece of steel. And when I go to install the nuts and washers, you have to pay special attention around the base where the washer will sit, as well as on top of the washer where the nut will meet the washer, because you don't want any grit there. That's going to basically make all that thread chasing not very worthwhile. We're now ready to check your main journal clearances. Doesn't sound too hard, does it? <laughs> 